like you lost another one. QA1, did they do a custom? Is this all custom for you, or they already had this set up for that year? So sure. actually, QA1's ahead of their game, and they actually do a lot of truck suspension, and they already have this kit designed for 73 through 87 C10s. So you could go yourself, log on to their website, and get all this for your truck as well. And it's a pretty direct bolt. There's a little bit of fabrication needed, just because in the drop member, you will have to plasma cut out a hole so the coil can slide through. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Oh yeah. Since my truck's heavily modified, I am gonna have to plasma cut my original brackets out. Just because I notched my drop members, so my frame is sitting in there to lower the truck. So now I welded these, I'm gonna have to plasma cut these out, grind the rib nuts out, and then I'll be able to fit the new bracket on. And then from there, I'll be able to mark my hole, plasma cut that out. And then we could actually start getting to bolting up the new components. Nice. Yeah, I've never seen a truck like this. Yeah, the truck's naked <laughs> right now in the front end, dude. Oh, yeah. I was talking with my bud, and we haven't seen it like this since two years ago when I built the truck. Nice. So, this October, we're in October right now. Two years ago was when the truck actually was finished, and first drive was on the road, I think, on the, the 5th of October. So we're hit two-year mark finally. So, pretty pumped on these. Rather than just a typical eyelet, QA1 goes above and beyond and does like a little heim joint uniball eyelet. Super nice design. Gives you a little bit more wiggle room when you're trying to get that right angle with your coil over. Dial. What you gotta do is put your little C clamp in the little recess groove. Make sure she's in there, not like me. in there and then they say you could either press them in or you could smack them in but we got to press so might as well use it you want to make sure when you're pressing on them though you get the actual race rather than the bearing or it'll damage the bearing so this socket fits nicely along the outside of the um, race it's not going to hit anywhere on the shock either so we'll go ahead and pop that in to start it Oop. That one doesn't have to be pressed in. So we'll just put the C-clamp in that one. <laughs> Snap ring on it. Last side was a bit. Same thing to the other side. Beautiful. Now, they actually want you to pull this top shock mount off, so, or coil over mount off, so that you could allow access for the receiver for the coil. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We use the AN wrench, that way we don't mar it up at all. A little sloppy, but it's got the rubber highlight on it. Should be aight. Should be alright. Should be alright. Better than actually putting a wrench wrench on. Is it in English or in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> So what's up? You got one down already? Yeah, we knocked out one, thanks to the help of Lendry. Now we're going on to the second one. Should be a little bit easier now that we have everything assembled one time. Start with these little fucking spherical eyelets. Spherical joints is what they call them. If you want to get technical. Was the other side such a bitch? Bitch! Bitch! Nice. It's like we've done this before. And we run into the tightness. <laughs> Spoke too soon. We are farmers. Bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. We are farmers. Bum -bum 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 -bum. Alright, so after these, what's next? Cut off the other side, 
probably gonna have to pull the steering linkage just so I can get the cutting wheel in there. Then grind off those rib nuts, or not rib nuts, but rivets. Pop that out. Got a plasma cut a hole so the coil over will go through. And then I think I'm gonna weld those brackets on. I'm gonna have to prep that. Oh yeah. Prep the area, weld those new brackets in. I'm probably gonna bolt it all up first before I weld it, just to make sure that um, everything looks okay with how my frame's modified. Cut this out with the plasma cutter, then I'll go back and weld it all. That way we know we're solid. Yeah, cut. Our class friend? Yeah, if you come to Franco's speed shop at 7 o'clock at night, we have free art lessons. Nice. How thick is this shit? Thick. Thick, thick. Thick. Jeez, you got all brand new equipment too, huh? I don't even know how to use it. We're just gonna be doing shit, dude. <laughs> I gotta go slow or else my circuit breaker on the house is going. And there went the circuit breaker. I'm gonna say it's gonna blow about one, two, three more times. Three unless more I times? go easy. <laughs> I'll be back. Give me a second to put out the fire if there is a fire. But if it's crazy, like Tom Cruise, I'm on fire, I put the fire out. All right. 50-year-old Russ smells so weird. There we go. Round two. Round two. We made it pretty far, though. Yeah. That means it's only gonna blow at least one more time. I think. <laughs> I think you got. Uh, I think you won that round. All right. One one. Round three. Fight! Sheesh! That's a oblong, 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 what? It's a big hole. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice and shiny. Yeah, that is a big hole. Ha ha! Ha ha! Oh, look at that. A little, you know. Be How's it look, Doc? Looking pretty. Yeah, me. Do a little bit more prep work just so later when I decide to weld it. I ain't gotta prep it. Again, prep all this area and then weld all along here, all along here. That way, it's in there for life. Oh God. Oh God. It's better than bolts, you don't have to worry about that shit. So, we'll do that on a later day. But for now, we're gonna make sure everything else fits, bolts up fine. Let's see how it looks. So, look at that beautiful schmick me. Just got done installing the bracket. This is gonna be your coilover bracket. So in ride position, coilover will go here. Have the bolt go through the eyelet. And then you'll have your top bracket up here. And that'll give us a nice, nice solid, solid feel. Good. In all reality, you wanna set some preload on them. I'm not too sure how the ride height's gonna be since my frame's modified. Yet again, we're talking about this. So I'm gonna leave it unset just so I'm not fighting myself later eventually we are gonna go and have to adjust the preload on these but we're just getting this mocked up for now always have a friend <laughs> friends one two we depend on. 
That's where you go, dude. So we'll just put these in now to hold it in place. We get to put the knuckles on. These are CPP drop knuckles, two inch drop. I have so much angle on my C10 is because I modified them. Like most drift cars, you want to move your tie rod picker pickup point closer into the center of a hub to the hub and that's why this big old ear is there now rather than the factory location so there's a measurement you could do everybody has their own preference and with these trucks nobody's really done it so i kind of just winged it and it seems to be working all right i don't know bro i play car x drift so i kind of just go off of that <laughs> <laughs> when you're putting your fucking cotter pins in when you clock your ball joint first so that way when you go in, you're not running into that issue hitting. If you're smart, unlike me, before you set the knuckle in, you'd clock it, right? That way it's not tight or anything and it doesn't get wedged into the knuckle. Free spins and you're able to clock it very nicely. I didn't do that. All joints are super nice. I haven't even moved them yet. They move freely. No resistance. I like that a lot. Can you imagine if the truck had about 70 plus degrees of angle? That means your boy would be like, whoppa! Much longer. That would be pretty dialed. Sheesh, we can go backwards with that, backwards entries. But then we run into clearance issues. Dude, now we got to repeat. One more side. How are you doing? So it's back. So she's back on her fours. New suspension's in and mocked up for now. Now I can go back and weld the brackets in. Cut some tabs off so I have clearance with my angle kit. Um, the suspension, it's stiffer. It's way better than what I had before. I don't have that bump steer anymore going on. So I'm excited to see what it does when I get to go beat the shit out of it. And they actually sent me some rear springs too for the coilovers I have. So I gotta pull those off and swap those out as well. So the truck's gonna get a whole lot stiffer. It's gonna make it a lot better. We're good to go beat the shit out of it. <laughs> 